My name's Fiona Choi and I'm playing the mum, Pearl Wong. Hi, my name is LB Lee Kuichi and I'm playing May. I'm Winita Navaswing and I play Zoe. First time I read the script, I was kind of blown away by how real it felt. Mm. I think I recognised so many parts of myself and so many parts of my own mother and so many parts of my own sister and friends and mm. family friends and all the crazy aunties that harass me at <laughs> New Year. <laughs> um, yeah. 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 Definitely drawn from real life, like from the little tiny pop culture references, the little eye rolls, all of those moments that we've all had, you know, uh, the good, the bad, and the ugly <laughs> of it. Singulation Female, it's one of those plays that is super, super important in today's day and age because it talks about being an Ast Asian Australian woman, you know, today, and um, which it's, hasn't really been seen before. No, no it's, it's kind of like it's Michelle's, revolutionary, I think. Yeah, yeah, Michelle was one of the first. I mean, there's a mm. little bit of a zeitgeist going on right now. Yeah. But uh, Michelle was pretty much the pioneer of mm. putting this identity on stage, this specific identity. And what I love about it is that it's very specifically about the experience mm. of being Asian Australian, but or at the same time incredibly universal. So anybody that's had a culture clash with their parents, generation gap culture clash, can really relate to those issues. Yeah. I think this play, Single Asian Female, is just basically a love letter to mothers and daughters and uh, a love letter to all family relationships. So I think one of the main themes is uh, it's very much about identity and who you are, who you are as a person in isolation to, but also how, who you are in relation to your family, whether you're a mother, you're, whether you're a daughter, whether you're a wife, and, um, and how does that work with combining you know, the Asian aspects of yourself as well as the Australian aspects of yourself and how the combination of being Asian-Australian can be greater than the sum of the two parts. Each of our characters are um, at different stages of their life and dealing with different social interactions and whatnot. So for Zoe, she's kind of 29, dealing with trying to find a career and dating and really sort of settling with her identity and her Asianness and her Australianness and where does she go and what choices does she make and I think um, yeah. May's at a different stage completely yeah, again. Yeah. So yeah, May's 17, turning 18. She's just coming towards the end of finishing high school and she's at that age where you're sort of you're grappling with uh, like oh, like what am I going to do am, am I still trying to fit in and a lot with that comes you know acceptance mm -hmm. and accepting you know being an Asian Australian female and yeah and you sort of with that you see a lot of um, you know, mother-daughter dynamics, <laughs> yes, yeah, The pulling away. Yeah, the push and pull of it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's, it's very comedic. It's very, very humorous. With Pearl, who is who came to Australia when she was a very young mum and is now dealing with two daughters that are potentially pulling away from what is Asian about her, so she's She's brash, she's bold, she's uncensored, inappropriate, very embarrassing, very bossy, <laughs> mm. but at the centre of it all, she just loves her children. Her children are her life and she would do anything for them. So I, uh, I prepare for this, it's very hard, but, I try, but I've tried to bond with these two <laughs> girls who are playing my daughters. Um, so, um, and that's, that's all I need. I just need the connection with these beautiful young actresses and, uh, and I think I'm there. And also, I always love to, um, to know what shoes I'm wearing. So in Single Asian Female, of course, being a good Chinese household, we um, we wear uh, slippers in the house only and not shoes. And the minute I put on those slippers and I'm flip-flopping around the house, I feel like I'm home. I feel like I'm there. Yeah, so Zoe's 29. She's going through the whole online dating scene and she's frantically auditioning to try and get herself into an orchestra because she plays the violin. 
um, and she's kind of forced to move back home. So she has a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress, I think. She's sort of like the glue in the family. She's sort of that in-between ground where she's gone through the whole high school stage of trying to figure out what her Asian-ness is and what her Australian-ness is and now she's a bit older and she's sort of come to terms with that more. Um, but she's also old enough to sort of understand mum's very embarrassing quirks and as much as it's very suffocating for her, I think she's kind of a little bit more understanding of it and you know secretly kind of loves it <laughs> um, and I, I think that's you know one of the biggest things I think as soon as we went into the room the three of us have really really felt that connection and I think that's one of the biggest things in this play um, and Zoe eats a chocolate muffin before every audition so that's definitely my excuse to eat chocolate <laughs> <laughs> so May is is basically every <laughs> every Asian Australian female, I think. Um, <laughs> I, um, I think, you know, growing up in Australia, you tend to sort of question, you know, who you are and fitting in. I think that goes with any sort of ethnicity. And, you know, being half Italian, half Australian, I personally sort of grappled with, am I Italian or am I Vietnamese? I, I don't know which one I am. So I think there's a very, there's a very deep um, relationship to my younger self. And, you know, with Pearl, I feel a very deep connection that she is exactly like my own mother. And, you know, Winita, I have that, you know, dynamic with my older brother. So it's very, very real and it's very, um, you know, intimate. And that connection is just so, so special. And just to be able to put that on, I think, is very, um, it's very special. Yeah, very yeah. personal for sure. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait to meet your mum. <laughs> 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 I feel like our mums are going to be yapping away and yeah. giving to each other the whole time. 